Kids with unruly hair, it's a challenge some parents know all too well. But what if I told you there's a rare medical condition that no matter what you do, your child's hair will not behave, and even trying to tame it causes it to break. My daughter, Taylor, has UHS, uncombable hair syndrome. When Taylor was five months old, she started sprouting these tufts of blonde, fluffy hair, almost like a little duckling. But when her baby hair didn't fall out, we started to notice that something was up. Surprise! We found out my husband and I were both carriers of a mutated gene called PADI3. There is nothing you can do to make it lay flat. No products, no brush, nothing. When Taylor was first diagnosed with UHS, I was devastated. I was very concerned about her emotional health and her well-being in the future. I decided to share my daughter's story so she wouldn't be bullied. So I created Baby Einstein 2.0 on Facebook to share with the world how awesome she is. She's definitely awesome. Cara's joining us now via Skype. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she that is so beautiful. beautiful. So Cara, how are you managing her hair now? Well, that's a great question. Um, actually, we aren't. This is our everyday. This is how Taylor wants to be, and so we're following her lead on that one. Aww. Well, I think that's so fantastic that you actually really posted this Facebook page to raise awareness and is more of an anti-bullying sentiment yeah. because, as you pointed out, uncombable hair syndrome really is a genetic issue with the structure of the hair shaft. So I know that Taylor has had testing, and this is a very specific diagnosis. So when you look at these hair follicles under a microscope, the hair shaft itself is either triangular or kidney-shaped. It's actually a structural change, and that's why no matter no matter what you do, the hair doesn't lie flat. And as you pointed out, a lot of the measures people take, like where they try to do chemical treatments or they try to brush it excessively, are actually so much more damaging. This hair is so much more fragile that you're just going to break it off and cause a lot more problems. Taylor's in good company, right? In fact, there's one very famous person out there who supposedly had unruly Our hair. Favorite. It's <laughs> Albert Einstein. Let's take a look at his head of hair. There. So I will say that this is rumored. It's not a confirmed diagnosis that Einstein had this. And in fact, exactly like Taylor, usually this is a, an issue we see much more in really small children. So it's usually diagnosed between 3 and 12 months. Interestingly, many, many of kids who have this actually get much better at puberty. So we don't know if there's an interplay of the hormones with the structure of the hair follicle that actually tends to make it better. In the meantime, there is some data that taking oral biotin can help, which is a B vitamin. And so I have some patients, Cara, who actually will get their kids biotin gummies that they chew and they take those as a supplement. And sometimes structurally that does improve the hair follicles. So it might be worth trying. But also what you mentioned, using sulfate-free, really gentle hair products do help this as well. But hopefully it'll get better at puberty no matter what. And she is in good company. Uh, I mean, is it, is it okay to, if you want to, you know, bring it down a little to put hair products on it. I mean, not necessarily at this age, but but as, as she gets older. Actually, we recommend against that. So we find that a lot of the chemical treatments, products, even the harsh blow drying, because there's structural changes in the hair follicle, it's much more likely to break off if she does that. So you just have to be so gentle with kids with this hair. Got it. Yeah. Well, Carl, we're going to give you a Salon AKS hair care bundle full of baby, toddler, and teen shampoos, conditioners, <laughs> serum, and silk brushes. And the products are all fragrance and sulfate free. The whole package is Wonderful. worth a thousand bucks, so enjoy. Best of luck in everything. Taylor, Taylor thanks so much for being with us.